News 8 at 5 starts now. Good evening, everyone. A safer school district, Zinesville Community Schools, taking measures they think will protect students. Uh, today, the town council approved having school resource officers. News 8's Elizabeth Choi has the details. The district has eight schools altogether. With this vote, each school will have at least one uniformed and armed police officer on campus during school hours. And this is set to begin coming this fall. In Zionsville, one of the appeals is the school district. We moved to Zionsville because of the schools. Part of the reason we moved to this community is to, to be part of a safe, you know, a safe area and, and have our kids go to schools and in Zionsville and be safe. But when news broke that just a few communities over, a school shooter had opened fire in Noblesville West Middle School back in May, that sense of security was rocked. It's very close to home and uh, yeah, makes you realize that it can happen anywhere. Well, that amongst the many incidents that have happened over the last 12 to 24 months, uh, it was something that, that we felt it was important to fund and get in front of. And that's why Zionsville Town President Joshua Garrett voted for having resource officers in all Zionsville schools. It's troubling that we have to do it. I think it's reassuring to do it. As a parent, I'm reassured by it. I'm also saddened we have to do it. The district already had two officers who moved from school to school. Today's unanimous vote means an officer in every school, as well as additional officers to cover after school activities. We would rather be proactive and have someone there if something were to happen rather than being reactive and if something had happened, doing it after the fact. The funding is sealed through the next school year, according to Garrett. It'll cost about $277,000 the first year, paid in part by local income taxes and in part by police operating fund reserves. If you ask parents, though, it's money well spent. We should pay whatever it takes to keep the children safe. I mean, that's my number one priority, and I think that's probably the priority of most Zionsville parents. School board members have been meeting with local law enforcement agencies since 2012. They say school safety doesn't end with today's vote. It's an ongoing effort. In Zionsville, Elizabeth Choi, Wish TV, News 8.